If you've ever watched my videos, you've probably heard me talk about not applying heat to your hair every single day and choosing more low heat or heat free options. This video is going to explain to you why that is and I'm going to show you a few visual examples. Let's say you are flat ironing your hair on a regular basis. This hair has no product in it. This is a mannequin that my students use to learn to do hair. I do not allow them to use products in most instances. I have a flat iron over here. It is a titanium flat iron. It's at 350 degrees of heat. So this is not at the highest heat setting by any stretch of the imagination. So you can see here we're at about 30. This goes up to 50. Now this is on here that does not have a ton of heat on it. Uh, and on top of that, it has no product. And I want you to see or steam that's coming up off of the hair. Now the key thing to remember is when you're seeing that, mind you, there's no product on there and my iron is not excessively hot. When you see that, there's not just the risk of burning your hair by flat ironing it or applying heat to it every single day. We have to keep in mind that each time that I pass a hot tool over that hair, I am then causing some evaporation of the hydration that's in that hair to come off. So this is essentially steam that is coming up off of that hair. But as a result, each time that I pass with a hot tool, the hair is losing moisture, it's losing hydration, which is going to result in that hair being more brittle over time. It's going to mean that you would have to deep condition more frequently. It's going to mean that you're more prone to breakage and thereby more prone to split ends because hair is never going to break straight and even across. So I wanted to show you the difference between a head of hair with no product in it, but I want you to see what that looks like when you've applied quite a bit of heat on there. So this one has had a good degree of heat used pretty excessively and quite a bit more frequently than this one here. Same mannequin, same fabric of hair. The difference is this one has had more heat. And if you'll notice, this one also has quite a bit more frizz, quite a bit more. This hair needs to be hydrated. It is dehydrated and dehydrated hair is going to break significantly easier. But when I'm looking at these different fabrics of hair, I have to understand that the level and the frequency of heat that I'm applying to the hair is gonna impact the hair health, not just because of potential heat damage. It's also because of the fact that we are causing evaporation of that hydration out of the strands. In addition to that, I need people to understand that just because her hair is already straighter does not mean she cannot suffer from heat damage. This hair can go more limp, it can look more fine, it can cause it to be a lot more mushy when it's wet. We want to ensure that we are naturally doing things that are a bit more protective. So things to keep in mind when you are working on fabrics of hair, regardless of whether it's straight, wavy, curly, kinky, or coily, you want to ensure that that you are using a good level of hydration and protein prior to applying heat, especially if you're doing a silk press or something like that, you wanna ensure that you have deep conditioned hair with hydration and protein prior to doing it. In addition to that, we want to ensure that we are using a leave-in conditioner to help keep our moisture balance high again. We can also layer over some heat protectant, an alcohol-free heat protectant to be able to put on that hair while it is wet. On finer fabrics of hair that are gonna have to be shampooed a bit more frequently, you can use a heat protectant that does have alcohol in it, but if you have any sort of wave pattern or curl pattern to your hair, or if you're already stretching out your shampoos, I need you to be mindful of that. See that moisture that's still on the comb there? That's literally from out of the hair. I'm gonna show you that again. So I'm gonna take a section of hair, place my iron, and as I place my iron, I've got my comb right up next to it because I know someone's gonna think it's smoke. Do you see the moisture that's left on there? That is water that is escaping the hair. It's not smoke. But when you're seeing that come up off of there, I need you to understand the hotter this iron is, the more you are losing moisture, the more you're risking breakage. And usually the areas where I can tell people have been applying too much heat, it's gonna typically be right around the face because they wanna see that as sleek and as smooth as possible. They are pressing it out on an everyday basis or sometimes multiple passes. It's causing those areas to break a bit more. So they experience a lot more tangling around the face. Girl, get out of my shot. They're experiencing a lot more tangling and things like that around the face that can cause it to add even more breakage into the 
the styling factor of the hair. All that being said, I hope that this video has been informative and that it's helped you out in some way and helped you to visualize why it is you don't want to apply heat every day. If you have additional questions, let me know in the comment box down below. And if you want product suggestions on some of my favorite products, feel free to click the links in the description box or in the top pinned comment down below as well. Until next time, take care, God bless, and stay glam. You know I love you, boo, and please don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye.